Hello, welcome back. I have a kind of fun video today. I um, wasn't planning on filming it, but the Christmas decorations have arrived. It's been a couple of weeks. I think I ordered that on Black Friday or Cyber Monday, so a couple weeks, but it took a while and that's fine. Also, Anthony got a package from Urban Decay right there and you know, I'm hoping it's not for him. I texted him, it's like, you got a package. He hasn't been here in the last four days. He's been watching his little brother. I got it and he's like, dang it. <laughs> Whole reason, I don't know why I'm on the floor, that I'm making this video is because it's Christmas decoration time and there's a cat over there in the Christmas tree, which I'll get to that, but he loves munching on it. Chester. That's not a good baby. Hello. If you were wondering where the crackling noise is, there is a candle, Woodwick candle from that one store that's not Bath and Body Works, Yankee Candle. Speaking of which, I went and got the $8.95 candles from Bath and Body Works during the sale and they had like None of the good scents out, none of the caramel scents, none of my bakery scents, like literally none of those scents. So I don't know if they were hiding them in the back, but someone made the suggestion of returning the ones I got because I haven't used them yet and exchanging them for the new ones. So that's what I'm going to do. Anyways, the tree. So here it is. This is brand new. Anthony had to be fancy and get it from Balsam Hill. I didn't even know what that store was, but this is like a pine lookalike. An alpine? Alpine, not a pine. Um, but it's supposed to be that like lifelike tree material, plastic. It's pl I'm pretty sure this is plastic. <laughs> but it's supposed to be a little more realistic. And then we just went and bought lights from Target to put on it. Seven and a half feet. I really like it. I like it a lot. Um, but a week after receiving this in the mail, this tree showed up so um they accidentally sent us two trees <laughs> the exact same one we just happened to have the exact same amount of lights left over that we used on the tree over there so anthony emailed them to let them know they had sent us two they didn't charge us for two so we have the box <laughs> to ship it back if they want it back i'm assuming because the shipping was so expensive they're probably just gonna have us keep it but that might end up going we just put it up because we thought it was funny um there's a beautiful kitty here they were so cute here's a few I didn't decorate much, but um, I've had these little birds for a long time. I just set them out. I have an espresso candle burning. It smells so good. I love that, and I love the noise it makes, and like the scent, which is like oatmeal cookie, smells so good, but like, I can't smell those candles. I just, Bath and Body Works is where it's at. And then here is a few other decorations. Anthony had that already. I had these from Pier 1 a long time ago. I found him. You guys have seen him before, but he, Chester did this. He's cute. This tree was only $5 from Target. I thought that was such a good deal. How is that $5? That's something that they would sell for like 20. It's not worth 20, but I feel like that's something they'd sell for 20. Be on the lookout, by the way, for <laughs> reflection is harsh. Um, I made okay, so sometimes I'll go shopping on the internet when I'm like really tired or when I drink too much wine, and uh, I did that last night actually. I was tired, yes, and it had nothing to do with wine, but it was Sarah's day, <laughs> her uh, athletic wear release. And oh my gosh, this lighting is terrible. And I was in queue for two hours, okay? I got on the internet at 6.30. The launch didn't even start until seven and it put me in a queue and it took me from 6.30 to 8.30 to get into the website. Like, that's ridiculous. I was watching Hallmark movie, Christmas movies in between, so like, it wasn't that big of a deal. But because I was in it for so long, I think I just got hyped up more than I should have. And I know that's what they were planning, okay? And so then I bought a lot of stuff. And not even my sizes. Like, looking back, I'm like, you, what? 
went through your head when you placed this order? I don't know. I got like sizes up in leggings that I normally would wear, which mm, I feel like I have, okay, I got sick last week. I'm rambling. <laughs> I got sick, I feel like I have to update you guys on so much. I got six, six, sick a few weeks ago and I just like have not been into going to the gym and I've noticed my pants are getting a little tighter. So I think at the moment I was like, I'll just go to size up. But I know when they come in, depending, I don't even know how her sizing runs. I feel like I'm gonna regret that decision. I don't know. But then I got this, okay, I wanted a sweatshirt and I went in a size medium because I love tops to be size medium. I just feel like that's my size up top. And I had it in my cart and it was fine. I Everything was in stock still. But then I thought on it too long because I'm an overthinker. And I had it in my car and I was like, do you really need this? I knew I needed that sweatshirt, okay? But not the other stuff. And I was like deleting some things. And then I realized the sweatshirt went out of stock. And so I hurried up and put a large in. So I was like, well, I guess I'll put a large. It'll be really oversized. And then I went to check out and then I overthink something else. And... It went out of stock and I was like, okay, fine. I'll put this small in. Like that's still going to fit. I just won't be as loose as I want it to be. And then, um, it was out of stock. So, and then everything was out of stock except for an extra small. And I put the extra small into my collar and I bought it and then it's not going to fit my body. So when that comes in, that'll be fun to try on. <laughs> If anything, I'll just have some Poshmark like sales from it. So, because everything's out of stock now, especially that sweatshirt. <sighs> sweatshirt was beautiful. I'm so upset. I'm one. I'm upset. I bought the extra small because <laughs> there's no way in H E double L that it's going to fit my body. And number two, and I think that was the only reason. Yeah, that was the only reason it's not gonna fit. So why did I buy it? So. I did not want to buy Crate and Barrel decorations, so Anthony has a finer taste. I'm fine with Target, Walmart, clearance, but he likes Crate and Barrel. Our couch is Crate and Barrel. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'll probably do a montage of, like, getting the decorations out and then, you know. You are the cutest. You are so cute. I'm gonna end up cutting out most of this footage because I am rambling so much. I got a, not a home chef. I was offered to do a home chef sponsorship and I was like, no, because I just don't feel like I can commit to any sponsorships and I don't want even people to send me anything at this point right now because I just feel bad. I'm not on a regular filming schedule. I get home and don't want to film most of the time. My eyes have been bothering me. I just like have been drained. But I on Black Friday ordered some HelloFresh meals, not sponsored. One of the only not sponsored videos you will get from them. But tonight we are making some beef bulgogi. What is that? I don't know. How can you? Tester. He just knocked everything off the table. I was just watching Whitney on YouTube doing her Christmas holiday like tour and I saw the exact same crate and barrel, <laughs> tree skirt, and stocking. So I feel good. It looks like I copied. No big deal. Probably would have had I had the opportunity to. But uh, yes, we have the exact same <laughs> style apparently. I'm super excited. Anthony's in the bathroom. We're about to decorate. Is it too flimsy? This one's kind of a good thing on this tree, I think. No! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no. <laughs> it's too heavy. <laughs> and done. Three fails, one, we don't have any ribbon to put the actual like big box of ornaments up. So right now we just have the pine cones and little animals which you saw, which they are adorable. So I'm happy with them. The little um, Grinchy looking ornaments will go up soon. Also, <laughs> the, uh, the star on top of the tree, it's very lightweight, <laughs> but our tree could not handle it. You guys also saw that. So I don't know if we can even really put a star up there or not. We'll find out. It may just go starless. And then we still need to put bobs on the stocking holders because it's meant to have like a bob hanging down from it. So it'll look cuter once it comes. The stockings almost touch the floor. We don't have any higher mantles, but I need to get when stuff goes on clearance chest or a stocking. I just didn't feel like spending that much more to get him a holder and a stocking. And I, my bad cat mom is what it comes down to. Um, so, anywho, the other tree is still bare over there. I think my plan, I don't know if Anthony's plan is the same, but my plan is just to keep it plain and then when stuff goes on clearance from like Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn, maybe just get their clearance stuff so we, we can decorate it next year. But it's not like really my focus at the moment. Anyways, I'm so hungry and I feel like Anthony probably is too, so we're gonna go eat and I will see you very soon. I will give you a treat update when it is officially balled up. Goodbye.